Namo Nama, friends, welcome to NGCF. Chapter number one of subject yog. Level A. And the name of the chapter is breathing practices. And today's topic is introduction. So friends, with this video, we are starting a very new chapter of subject yog. Now friends, whenever we talk about yog, what is the first question that arises in our mind? Obviously, we all think that what is yoga, right? So, first of all, in this video, we will understand the meaning of yoga. Now, the word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit roots. And in Sanskrit, this word is yuj. And yuj means to add, to join, or to yoke. And in this way, yoga is a union of mind, body and soul. And as we say that yoga is a union of mind, body and soul, in this way, the practice of yoga leads to a perfect harmony between mind and body and man and nature. And in simple words, if we say, yoga means to add. Now what to add? Friends, in our daily routine, in day to day life, if we add some good habits or good qualities in ourselves, that is also yoga. For example, uh, from now on, if we think or if we decide that, okay, from now on, I will sit erect, okay? And if somebody else decides that, okay, from tomorrow, I will wake up early in the morning and I will definitely go for jogging. So, what are these? These are good qualities, right? Uh, sitting erect, going for jogging, taking care of our health. So, these are are good habits, good qualities and when we add all these good qualities to ourselves, this is yoga. And Lord Krishna says, yoga karmasu koshlam means karm ki kushalta hi yoga hai. Any task which we do perfectly, that is yoga. How? We all know that daily in our life, we do lots of tasks, right? And, you know, if we perform all these tasks perfectly, that is yoga. Okay? As Lord Krishna says, Yoga karmasu koshtam. Koi bhi karm, hum jab kushalta se kar lete hain, that is Yog. You know, we can understand this with an example. Let's take example of studies. Okay? Uh, think we are uh, studying. Okay? So, on table, books are there. Right? We are sitting on the chair. Right? So, we can say that our body is there. Okay? Study material is there. But, our mind is not there. Means, Lots of thoughts are coming and going in our mind. We are thinking about all the other things instead of thinking for studies. Okay. So, what will happen? Will we able to get the perfect result or will we able to understand that lesson properly? No, na. But, if our mind is also there with our body, Okay, and we are focusing on our studies, we have full concentration on that chapter, then what will happen? Obviously, we will be able to understand that chapter or that topic very easily, very quickly, right? And in this way, we will be able to study perfectly, right? So, we can say that with our body, if our mind is also involved 
in that same task. We will be able to perform that task perfectly and we can say we will do that task or that karm kushalta se. Wo kaam hum kar paayenge and that is yoga, right? So, in this way, yoga is union of mind, body and soul. And friends, you know, yoga is an activity that includes breathing techniques, yoga poses and mindfulness. And what is mindfulness? Mindful is nothing but the practice of focusing your attention on the present moment only. Right? That is mindfulness. Okay? And in yoga, participants often use breathing and yoga poses to help the mind calm. Right? So, in this way, what is yoga? Yoga is balance of body and mind. Yoga is also balanced state of emotions. And this is also a balance between thoughts and action. And in this way, yoga is balanced a state of behavior. So friends, in this video, we understood what is yoga. And we also understood that how we can achieve a balanced state of in our next video, we will talk about breathing practices. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy. Dhanyavadaho.